Steve made Alexander stoop to promise that he will be responsible making sure that everyone else in Europe knows that Finland will be the leading startup country in Europe. Finland was marvelous. It, uh, I had an amazing time. I've learned a ton from uh, Finns and Finnish entrepreneurs. I, I got to learn the Finnish culture um, and was incredibly impressed on multiple levels. Entrepreneurs in Finland um, are rising, and they're rising for the, I think, for the first time in several decades. I think their parents are going to be blown away that the revolution this time is not going to be in the streets, but, but by their children saying, we want to become capitalists and start companies. Every one of you are doing something that your parents would not be approving of. <laughs> and your government doesn't have a clue. The fact that you guys, every one of you, would rather be working 24-7, building a company and becoming capitalists, have your grandparents spinning in their graves. So many good things are happening. Just need to make sure that our weak government will not spoil things. Rather, they, they should speed up things with courageous new decisions and initiatives that would change the current structures. Investment culture is fundamentally broken here. Um, and broken, maybe a politer way to say, is just stuck in between a public funding model and what I think an ultimate goal should be, is private funding. Um, um, Tekis and Vigo, etc., are still kind of trying to pick winners and losers by bureaucrats and consultants who have no business experience and punch a time clock coming in and out. But what the Finnish version of this model looks like has to come from people who've been here more than a week. I, I am just the wrong person. I am the right person to say, in your hearts, you guys already know what the answer is. Somebody just needs to stand up and say, here's where we're going, and this is where we want to end up. But we all can sort of do our own part. It doesn't mean that we all need to be entrepreneurs. Some of us can fund them, some of us can be employed by one, some of us can just mentally support them, creating the culture. That when we see an entrepreneur, we look at him or her in a positive sense. We don't ask him, didn't you get a proper job somewhere else in a real company? But we say that, hey, great that you started a new company. It's, it's great, Finland needs people like you. And we all can be role models in our own ways. But definitely, of course, the individuals that people in general look up to, they all need to be role models. They need to feel that, hey, I need to be a role model. What I do and what I say will count. It will, it will make a change. So I think anybody who asks himself or herself whether I need to be a role model, they should be a role model. I, I, I think the country's ready. You all know what needs to be done. It's theirs, it's, it's all there for you to take. Oh, give a big hand to Crystal. <laughs> Henrietta. <laughs> Linda. <laughs> and JP. And I'm just, I, I had high expectations for the week. I mean, sure, we've been working hard, but I'm just blown away with this guy and I can't, I, I mean, I can't find the words. There is no words to thank you enough for changing Finland. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you. you.